Hello and welcome to Contractor's Point of View. My name is Gary and here we go again. Today's video is on a little comparison I did between an Apple smartwatch and a Samsung smartwatch, specifically the Apple Series 3 and the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. And I did this because I wanted to track and see which watch tracks steps better than the other. And I'm just going to tell you right now, the Samsung one, the Samsung does a better job at tracking steps more accurately. The reason I'm telling you that is because the rest of the video gets kind of dry and you may not want to watch it, but there are some numbers involved, maybe some math, and some people don't like that. So I'm just letting you know in the beginning, the Samsung wins. But if you'd like to find out how I figured this out, stick around. We'll get into that right here. All right, so like I said, Samsung won. What did I do to come to that conclusion? So I figured to start out with is I needed to have each watch on each arm so that I got a balanced value at the end of each day. So for the first week, I wore the Apple watch on the right hand and the Samsung watch on the left hand. You might be seeing that different in the video because it might be flopped around, but that's the way it was, right hand, left hand, for each watch and then after the first week I swapped them so then they spent the second week on the opposite arm they did of the first week that way they got each balanced out and they were able to uh, if one arm moved more than the other and that's what the, the watch was tracking then that's what you got to see you'd be able to see the numbers balance out and then I also did a control a control is where you uh, know what the outcome should be and then uh, you measure it against that and so I counted the steps distance in a parking lot where there were no obstacles 200 steps in one direction 200 steps back and I did that twice so total of 400 steps but I recorded the values at the end of each 200 steps and uh, let the watches settle because sometimes the Apple watch takes a little while to actually register how many steps you recently walked you give it about 10, 15 seconds and it'll update. And you just want to make sure that value is what you're writing down. So like I said, after this two weeks, I did this test. I also did a couple other tests in between, did some other stuff because I wore the, both watches to bed at the same time. And I found that they both track steps while you're sleeping. That got me to thinking that I might've been sleepwalking because the number of steps that were showing up on the Apple watch while I was asleep was the same number of steps from my bed to the fridge and back. So yeah, it got me to thinking, I'm like, am I sleepwalking and eating in the middle of the night? No wonder I can't lose weight. Um, no, but that wasn't it actually. <laughs> so uh, I did track those. I, I didn't track every single day because I didn't start noticing that there were steps on there until a little while into this test. Didn't even think to track at night. And then uh, I did video myself sleeping one night so that I could see if I was actually walking and I'm not gonna show you that video, but I wasn't walking in my sleep. Thank goodness. Um, some of the other things that I came across during this test was I was able to close all the rings on my Apple Watch while on a four and a half hour drive. Not quite sure how that works because I didn't move out of my seat I wasn't doing calisthenics in my truck and yeah so all the rings not just like an activity ring but movement steps whatever I don't even remember what all the rings are now but uh, yeah all of them closed them and I think I've heard of other people doing this as well so I'd love to hear from you if that's happened to you so anyway let's just get right into this uh, into the numbers and uh, show you what I got so as you can see here here is week one's numbers, uh, Sunday through Saturday. And uh, from this, you can see right off week one, Apple Watch, seriously high on all of its numbers. When you total it, it's over 18,000 steps difference between what the Samsung recorded and what the Apple Watch recorded in one week. That's an 18,000 plus step difference. 
uh, when I first found this and did the math and I was like, wow, you know, it was probably because the Apple Watch is on my right hand. The right hand is my dominant hand that I use for doing most everything. Uh, and that's what I kind of attributed it to. I was thinking I couldn't be that bad. And also if it's doing that, it's tracking movement, not steps, right? So anyway, so let's go into this other test I did uh, real short before I go into week two. And that is I got up on a scissor lift, which is basically a box that raises you up into the higher parts of the building so that you can pull wire and install stuff and whatever. And I was having to pull wire here. So uh, I started by showing the camera the values at the beginning and then I went and I pulled the wire, I got to the end and it was in a straight line, but it was just going up, going across and then down. And the box is about six foot long and about 30 inches wide. And that video, uh, you can see I'm barely moving back and forth. I mean, it goes by fast. Granted, I didn't want it to be forever long on here, but you can see I'm moving a little bit, not very much and the Apple Watch recorded over 200 steps. In that little, short little video, it required, recorded 200 steps, but the Samsung Watch, it didn't even get 100 steps. So it was well under 100. And I'm sure if you slowed down the video and watched it, it's neither one of them were probably 100% accurate as far as when I took steps, but there's no way there, that I was doing close to 300 steps, uh, 200 and some steps there. So that was very eye-opening, especially after viewing week one's numbers. Um, all right, so let's get into week two, just jump right into it, and more numbers, numbers, numbers. Week two, check it out. Uh, the Apple Watch is still high, except for one day. One day it's not as high as the rest. However, it's still not the same and we're still over 3,000 3, steps difference. I think I'm right when I say that it's because of my right hand moving around more uh, and I can't tell if the Samsung watch caught up or if the Apple watch went down because of being on the right hand versus left hand. But either way, if it is all right hand, if, uh, you know, as far as dominant hand being the reason that the Apple Watch was high the first week, it should have corrected by the second week. And it didn't. It didn't correct all the way. So you're still reading high. And so that leads, led me to believe that, you know, especially with the scissor lift test, it was already high. The uh, a two week test, both weeks were reading high, except for one day. One day out of 14, it was actually lower. And it was not really much lower, it was almost right there even. So that led me to kind of conclude that the Apple Watch is definitely adding steps or just tracking movement. So then we went into control. So let's just jump right into this. The control, like I said, was 200 steps in a large parking lot. And the values from that, basically I'll just show you all the values. When we're shooting for 200 steps as the goal of each device to be uh, recording, uh, the Samsung came out three times out of four close to 200. So three quarters of the time, it's rather close. Uh, when you look at the Apple Watch, it was one time out of four that it was close. So if you average the number of steps that it added over 200 steps and then add that to, you know, say an 18,000 step day, you can see why that the Apple Watch would be recording a ton more steps than it was necessary. Okay. I mean, that's a lot of steps, especially that first week, week one, 18,000 steps more than the Samsung watch, given the same activity, just on different wrists. Um, so that's where I get my conclusion that the Samsung has definitely the better tracking of steps. Now, maybe it has a more sensitive or less sensitive, I guess, sensor and doesn't record as many as the Apple Watch does. Um, but when it comes to accuracy, when the Apple Watch was off by four or five plus every single time on the control and the Samsung was closer, that leads me to believe that 
you're tracking something else. I mean, it, to add four or five steps every 200 steps, um, yeah, I, I just uh, it doesn't it doesn't add up to me. So that's how I came to my conclusion of the Samsung watch is a better step tracker than the Apple Watch. Next, heart tracking. Just kidding. Not gonna get into that. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I hope that uh, I didn't bore you to death with all the numbers and I hope that this is something you can find useful, maybe share it with others, uh, especially if you're in like an office pool for whoever's getting the most steps in a day. Now, if you're all wearing Apple Watches, you have an advantage. Wear it on your dominant hand. Even if it's not the hand you normally wear it on, it's uncomfortable, you will win. I can guarantee it. But uh, yeah, I guess a funny anecdote to leave you with is I was sitting next to a lady on a plane one time and she was talking to somebody beside her and she was telling them how she had got 30,000 steps uh, that day before getting on the plane. It was, a, it was a later flight, but she was able to manage her 30,000 steps. I walked 30,000 steps one day and I wore a hole in my sock and didn't feel like walking anymore at all that day. She had an Apple Watch on. Hey guys and girls, until next time, please stay safe out there and stay six feet apart. <laughs>